Linux Mint 22.1 versus Linux Mint 22.2 The Ultimate Blind Test Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into something fun and eye-opening. A blind comparison between Linux Mint 22.1 and 22.2. That's right. We are putting these two versions head to head without knowing which is which. Can you really tell the difference in everyday use? Or are incremental updates more hype than substance? Stick around because the results might surprise you and make you rethink how much those point releases really matter. First, let's meet our contestants. I've set up two fresh installations of Linux Mint on identical hardware. Same mid-range laptop with an Intel i5 processor, 16GB RAM and an SSD. One is version 22.1, codenamed Sia. And the other is 22.2, Sera. But here is the twist. I hidden the versions info from myself and the screen. No peeking at system details or update logs. We are judging purely on feel and performance. Linux Mint is all about stability, user friendliness, and a polished desktop experience based on Ubuntu. Both versions build on the 22 series which uses Ubuntu 24.04 as its base. But point releases like the spring bug fixes, software updates, and tweaks to the Cinnamon desktop environment. The question is, do those changes translate to a noticeably better experience? To keep things fair, we run a series of real-world tasks on both sides, side by side. I'll focus on perceived speeds, smoothness, and any quirks that pop up. No synthetic benchmarks here. Just everyday stuff like browsing, file handling, and light multitasking. We'll monitor basics like CPU and RAM usage with built-in tools. But the real judge is how it feels to use. Both machines are starting from a clean state. Default Cinnamon desktop. No extra software installed yet. Hardware is matched to eliminate any biases. Same resolutions, same peripherals. What we are looking for is that snappy feel Mint is known for. Quick responses, low resource drain, and seamless navigation. Let's jump into the tests. Round 1. Application Launch Speed On both, I am opening Firefox, LibreOffice Writer, and a media player like a Rhythm Box. Set up a feel responsive. Apps pop up in under 2 seconds. Setup B is similar. Maybe a hair quicker on the browser. But it's tough to say without a stopwatch. No stutters on either. Next, file management. I'm copying a 5GB folder of photos and videos while browsing a directory with thousands of files. Both handle it smoothly, with the file explorer staying fluid. Step B seems to finish the copy a few seconds faster. But that could be a random. Resource usage. Both hold around 20-30% CPU and 2-3 GB RAM during the task. Efficient as expected from Mint. Now, let's get into the nonsense. Software updates. I hit the update manager on both. Set up 8 downloads and installs a small batch quickly with a clean interface. Set up B does the same. But I notice a slightly updated theme, maybe accent colors. The process is seamless on both, no hiccup. Desktop responsiveness. Dragging windows, switching workspaces, opening menus, both are buttery smooth. But setup B has fewer micro delays when resizing windows, especially with multiple apps open. Could be an optimization in the cinnamon desktop. For a light gaming and multimedia test, I'm running a simple puzzle game from the software manager and playing a 4K video in VLC. No frame drops on either. But setup B handles video scrubbing a bit more fluidly. Resource spikes are minimal, under 50% CPU for both. Alright, moment of truth. I've tallied my impressions. Setup A was solid, but felt a tad more conservative in responsiveness. Setup B edge it out with smoother multitasking and subtle polish. Now, drum roll. Setup A is Linux Mint 22.1 Sia. 
It brought updates like improved VLAN compatibility and new tools for package management, making it a reliable setup from the base 22 release. Setup B is 22.2 Zera. This version adds features like hardware enablement kernels for better modern hardware support, fingerprint login options, team enhancements with accent colors, and better integration for apps using libadvita. In my tests, this translated to those slight performance wins. Nothing revolutionary but noticeable in edge cases like video handling or window management. Overall, the differences are subtle. If you're on 22.1, upgrading to 22.2 is straightforward and worth it for the bug fixes and extras. But don't expect a massive overhaul. It's a testament to Mint's philosophy. Steady improvements without breaking what works. In a blind test, they are more alike than different. Proving that incremental updates focus on refinement or reinvention. What about you? Have you tried 22.1 or 22.2? Did you notice big difference? Or was it imperceptible, like in my test? Drop your experiences in comment below. I'd love to hear if hardware plays a role. If you enjoyed this blind challenge, hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux deep dives, and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And remember, Linux Mint 22.2 is in still beta stage. It's not stable. Peace out.